channel in today's video I'm gonna talk about washing my car and how we do that we get a ton of comments on our channel throughout the years um, people asking us how we keep our cars nice and clean so today I'm gonna basically show you how I wash my cars specifically in the winter it is now winter in North Carolina so kind of cold out so then as far as everything you're gonna to need to wash your car in the winter if it is really cold a pair of gloves is nice now this is North Carolina 40 degrees for a lot of people here this is freezing it's not that bad in my opinion, but gloves sometimes are nice. I have a few nice and clean brand new microfiber cloths. You have a nice microfiber drying cloth. For my wheels, I do have a separate microfiber that I use for that and other lower portions of the car. And then the biggest thing, I will have this product linked down below on Amazon. This is a microfiber washing piece uh, mitt thing, whatever you want to call it, on a long stick. So this is fantastic when it's cold. Not to be a wimp, but when it's 40 out or even less than that, I really don't want to stick my hands in an ice cold bucket. So this, you can use this, and this will do a very good job. And it's actually a lot quicker than doing it by hand. So now on to the next part of washing the car in the winter. I start by rinsing the car off. Pretty standard measure. And I like to obviously just work my way from the top. And we're just gonna really rinse the car. And where it is a little bit heavier in the dirt, all the little crevices, I like to go a little bit harder on just to make sure everything is out of it. So in this piece right here, especially in the side skirt, try to get anything loose off the car. So now on to the next part is actually washing the car. We rinse it off very well. All the major dirt is off. The lower sides, really, we just see the dirt spots on it from driving in the rain for so much time. And once the soap is nice and mixed, I have about two or three inches in here, I can go ahead and put the microfiber in here to get that nice and wet. And then on to washing the car, I start with the top down. Being that the whole top really isn't that dirty, I'm basically gonna do the top bubble of the car. So from here, basically this whole line and up. So the roof, the rear glass, this upper portion, that's the cleanest and then we'll do the hood and then the lower section last. And while you are actually washing your car, of course, preventing swirl marks is important. You don't need to put pressure on the paint or go crazy on it. That's how you can mar the paint a little bit. You wanna keep your paint in perfect condition. And as you can tell, this microfiber on a stick, like I'm using it, it's very quick and easy. You can see how much I've already got done. Now we'll go ahead and rinse everything off, starting with the top, get all the little cracks out of the little roof lines. So with that upper portion rinsed off, I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the hood. It's very clean up here, so I don't need to really worry about much. I'm just gonna do the entire hood and then the front bumper, because that's all the cleanest. And then we'll now move on to the dirtiest spot, which is right there. So now we're onto the side of the car. This is the worst spot, the most dirty. Even just taking my finger, I mean, my finger's now got dirt all over it. You can see it very thick on here. So this is pretty dirty. Now another thing, so I finished up the roof line and the whole front end, not really a dirty part in the car. Now I've only dipped this back into the bucket one time. I did the whole top, put it back in here, did the whole front end. Not really a big deal, there's not too much dirt. A lot of people are gonna ask about the two bucket method. I've never done that. I have no swirl marks on my car. And as I can look around my microfiber, there's nothing in it. A little bit of dirty spots on these pieces, but really nothing too crazy. So before I'm gonna put this back in, I'm just gonna rinse it off actually. And that'll make it to where any dirt or anything that is in here is no longer on it. It's not gonna contaminate the clean water in here. And even looking in here, the water is still perfectly clear. It's not contaminated, it's not all dirty. So as long as you rinse this off before you put it back in here, you're not gonna have issues with rubbing dirt on your paint, because that's how you're gonna get swirl marks. And with that done, you can take this again, start with the top, let the soap actually flow down the paintwork of the car. And we're basically gonna lightly wash this dirt away. Again, this is very thick dirt, as you can see, and you don't wanna just be scrubbing this dirt into the paint. So doing this very lightly, it's gonna go down and flow onto the dirty paintwork. And I'm basically just using the microfiber and the soap to agitate the dirt and to loosen it up. You don't need to scrub all this off. That is gonna scratch your paint a little bit. So all you really gotta do, just loosen up the dirt very gently along the paintwork. And you can already see it's getting nice and clean. Now I see a little piece right here. You make sure that comes off. 
And because it's very dirty, I can actually see a lot of the dirt on here already. I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse this off. Make sure it stays very clean. You can even rinse that a little bit, put it back in, do another pass, and we'll just continue gently getting all this crazy dirt off the car. And then as you can guess, we will just rinse it right off, get all the rainy soap off, and we're revealing a nicely cleaned side profile of the car. All that nasty dirt is all gone. So the entire car is now completely washed. Everything is nice and clean. It is now time to go to the wheels. We're gonna rinse them off again, just to make sure everything is covered in water. And this did have a lot of stones on the inside of these barrels here. So we wanna make sure there's no stones or anything like that inside these spokes. And the last thing you wanna do is drag a rock across a custom powder coating. It gives our wheels look amazing, so I definitely want to keep them nice. So these are ceramic coated, as well as my brake calipers. So we're going to rinse everything off nicely. Using the same bucket that we've been using all before, everything is still nice and clean. And then just one by one, go to all the spokes. The ceramic coating does make the brake dust come off very easily, so you don't really have to scrub it. Once again, that's what you want to avoid on any painted surface, or even if these were like polished or something. Last thing you want to do is just scrub. So we're nicely loosening up all the dust. And you can definitely see how much cleaner that looks. Satin finish really pops nicely in the sun now. So we're gonna move on to the rest of the wheels and just to get a quick before and after, you can see how nice and shiny that is. Everything is perfectly clean. And as we go to the rear, you can see how brown it is and just very, very nasty looking. Just the uh, amount of brake dust you get on this, definitely quite a lot. So the car wash is now complete. Everything is nice and clean and shiny as the camera can definitely notice. Next up is drying the car. Some people might not know that you should dry your car after you wash it. And this side is getting a little bit of dryness, I guess we'll call it, because the sun is right on it. So you do want to keep the sun side kind of wet while you're washing or wash this last that we can dry it first. But I'm not too worried about that just because everything is coated with a ceramic coating anyway. But well, we're gonna take my nice clean microfiber drying towel and just lightly kind of go over the roof. And this actually ends up getting better and more effective once it gets wet. So I normally like to do the glass first. That way it can get nice and wet. And then we'll get basically the top all nice and dry. And if your car is not ceramic coated, this is gonna do basically a good job making it to where there's no water spots on your car because that kind of ruins the beautiful, nice, clean car wash you just did. And this is also a good time then to go over any little spots you missed. And then where it was dried up and getting some water spots on it, this damp drying towel is now gonna get this completely removed. So once I have done that, I will now take the microfiber. I normally go to my windows first, being frameless like this, it gets some water on this top edge. So in the damp portions, I'm gonna slightly go around the whole edge of the window. Do that on both sides. And then we'll work on doing the door jam just to get everything nice and dry in here. Same with the underside of the door. This is always gonna be a little bit wet and the inside of the door jam on the actual door. And under all the rubber seals, you'll notice it will accumulate some dirt. So definitely keep this clean. And that is about gonna wrap up how I wash my car in the winter time. Pretty much the same versus the summertime. If you guys like this video, I can make another video when it is summertime. There's a few things that are different between winter and summer, different temperature and how the sun is definitely affect how you're gonna end up washing your car. My cars stay nice and clean when they're clean. I drive them in the rain. They don't really care when they get dirty because I know how to clean them. And I know there are a lot of people that are real fanboys as far as how to really maintain the detailing aspects of your car. This is a method I've been doing for like 10, 15 years now. And quite honestly, every time I go to a car show with my car washed, people always ask me how I keep my car so clean and why they look so good. Um, honestly, nothing too fancy, just keep it clean. <laughs> but if you wash your car and you just take care of it, you know, don't go crazy scrubbing dirt all into it car will stay nice and clean. Last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is drive your car around the block just to get the rust off of your rotors. You'll notice that after you wash your car.
you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, we are giving away a GoPro for this month. So if you'd like to win the GoPro, leave a comment. Your comment will enter you into win at the end of the month. Well, that's how I keep my car clean, the GTR and this. Mike does the same. And uh, now this rag will not be used since I dropped it on the ground. So if you drop it on the ground, the little stones it picks up, you don't want that in your paint. So this is not gonna be rinsed out and washed. Not gonna use it at all. But that is it, guys. Give it a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next video.